Hi, and welcome to the GoGen video cast. Today is July 31st, the end, officially, of one book July. So, how did you do on your adventures? I'm GoGen, your hostess for the GoGen video cast, and today I'm going to look back over July to see what I've learned, if anything, and what I am excited to use going forward in August. So, for July, I kept everything in my Color Crush Planner by Webster's Pages. I used this field notebook uh, to continue all my note keeping and record keeping for our uh, RV during the month since I started it in June and it's continuing. And this is my journal for the month of June. And when I say journal, I mean my dear diary. What happened to me during the day? Um, what happened? What didn't happen? What made me happy? What made me sad? Um, I decorated with washi tape, with colored pens, with Zentangles. Um, I find it useful sometimes to just doodle the the Zentangles to help you remember what, what it is that you really did, you know, think about something. How did you feel about it? How did I feel about it? Um, and things like that. And so I like that. Um, I love bringing that element back. If you see here, I decided to just put a little bit of this Zentangle up in the corner and I just couldn't stop. So I filled up a page. This is my favorite pattern. It's called Quandary. And um, I love it very much. <laughs> and so that is what I needed to do that night. And so I did. And uh, so these are the final days as the month winds down. <sighs> so I kept, uh, as I said before, this was my journal or my record keeping whatever for our RV, the reservations we have to go camping, how, trying to figure out our gas mileage, things like that. So here are the days in the Color Crush planner, and I love it. Um, it made me happy. I included Zentangles here as well in my tracker up here. Um, you're, you know, naturally really limited by the amount of space because you have, this is it. If, uh, I'm, I don't like to fit into uh, any prescribed, uh, I, I don't see myself, I don't do well if you tell me this is all the room I have. Uh, if so, then I'm going to have to have more room. So, uh, I learned this is not for me. I'm not the person that can um, use a journal or I don't, I don't need a planner like this. Um, what I am going to use this book for going forward, I'm going to take these pages out, just take them out and archive them with my other journals, and I'm going to use this notebook for any of my collections and projects. So, I have a section here for my Etsy shop. I have a section for YouTube for my videos. And then another section for miscellaneous collections. Books I've read, books I wanna read, movies, um, things like that. So that's gonna live in here. And that makes me happy because I can honestly say I tried it. I tried using this as a daily log. I didn't like it. I don't like it for planning. I don't like it for um, memory keeping. None of the of those things. So that's what I learned. I learned it. That's that. And I don't have to feel guilty. I tried it. I, I didn't like it. It's not for me. See, and I kept, I kept emergency money right here. 
And as long as I did, I saw it every day. But the idea is not to actually spend it. So much for that. I would have a 20 and then I would put the 10, I put a 10 back in that pocket. Then I'd put take the 10 out and I'd put a 5 back in the pocket. Whatever. So now that I have finished this for my journal, what am I going to do? If you've been watching me for um, before July, you know that I love my traveler's notebook from Foxy Fix in the personal size. It makes me happy, it makes my heart sing. Um, and I have decided going forward to use one notebook for a journal and one notebook for a bullet journal. And then my, my notes about the camper will go in here as well. And this is what I'm going to carry. That makes me happy. And um, so what did I learn from One Book July? I tried the uh, Color Crush. Sorry, had it, couldn't think there. Um, I tried it. It's nice. It's pretty. It's not. It's just extra for me to do every day, and I don't need that. I have plenty to do every day. So... I'm going back to my traveler's notebook very happily. Um, I don't feel as though I'm wasting my Color Crush planner because it is gonna house my collections. Um, I'm not one of the people who can say that I'm collecting journals and, and not using them because I see that a lot uh, on other people's videos. And I understand if you're collecting something, it doesn't matter whether you're using it on a daily basis or weekly or monthly. It's it's your collection. It's your thing. It's what you need to have with you. I understand that totally. Ask my daughter how I feel about tote bags. <laughs> you can never have too many tote bags whether you're using them or not. Um, so anyway, I'm going back to my traveler's notebook. I'm really happy about it. I'm happy to know that my collections will be safely and happily stored in my Color Crush Planner uh, that will live here at home. And this traveler's notebook will go with me everywhere. So, that's what I learned from One Book July. What did you learn? Anything? Did you learn that you hated something or that you loved something that you didn't know? I hope you will leave me a comment in the comment, bo comment box below. I'd love to hear how One Book July went for you. Um, the reason that I do these videos is for the community. Because uh, I know you're out there, you, you do comment and leave me messages sometimes. That truly, truly makes my day. And um, I want you to know how grateful I am for that. So I hope that if you haven't subscribed, you will subscribe. I plan to continue making my videos with uh, journaling and my crafting and my camping and who knows what will be next. At any rate, I hope you'll be there with me. So until I see you in my next video, I wish you nothing but love and laughter.